So I want to talk about this TV moment that had me in actual tears. In season four of BoJack Horseman, the episode begins in a school in the distant future where a young girl is telling the class about her great-great-great-grandmother, Princess Carolyn. And this, of course, takes us via flashback into the show's usual setting, present-day Hollywood, as we follow Princess Carolyn through a particularly awful day. She spills coffee, gets fired by a client, breaks her prized family necklace, and learns she's had a miscarriage, and that further pregnancy wouldn't be viable. And then finally, alone in her car, Princess Carolyn, usually so on top of things, breaks into tears. Now, the episode throughout cuts between the future narration and the present, but by the time we get to the final minutes, it's been a while since we'd flipped back. So we wonder, what was the point of that annoying framing if it wasn't going to connect back? And that is when, in the quiet of the night, PC gets a call from Bojack, who wishes to vent about his day. To this, Princess Carolyn chuckles, and wrapped in her blanket, she asks if Bojack would like to hear what she does when she has a bad day. I imagine my great, great, great granddaughter in the future talking to her class about me. She's poised and funny and tells people about me and how everything worked out in the end. And when I think about that, I think about how everything's going to work out. And here, we understand that there never were two timelines. Instead, we experience the present as Princess Carolyn did, and then stepped into her mind as she clung onto a dream. And the beauty of it is, even if we found the framing annoying before, now, we might long for the episode to flip back to the lie just one more time, because by now we understand just how important it is for her.